Hello and welcome to the Tuesday, February 28th, 2023 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Quick diary today by Xavier. Xavier came across uh, well, a zip file that contained lots and lots of uh, phishing pages, essentially HTML pages, ready to go in order to impersonate many important brands and then submit credentials to a collection site. He mentioned that not all of the collection sites were actually still valid or completely configured, but this is sort of the kind of... Uh, Fishing kit that someone would then use in order uh, to quickly create multiple lookalike sites. And a full list of impersonated brands can be found in the diary that Xavier wrote. And the Wall Street Journal had an article that was uh, heavily uh, quoted and reposted about some thefts that apparently are first observing the victim entering a PIN or other a password into a mobile device to unlock it. And then later after they observed the victim, they will then steal the device, of course, giving them full access uh, to the device. Well, uh, aside of all the commentary out here, I think uh, one of the big stories here is also that your mobile device often is essentially the gateway to your digital life. So if an attacker does obtain access to your device, they often have access to all of your documents, financial accounts, and more, even identity documents and the like. While these cases still are somewhat rare, it's something that you may want to think about if you, for example, completely rely on cloud storage for all of your personal information, maybe having an on-premise uh, copy of some of the more important data, also being able to quickly change things like passwords for banking accounts, uh, maybe something to consider here sort of as a backup, as it's uh, probably not really possible to perfectly secure a mobile device that you keep carrying around with you. So my advice, assume your phone will get lost or stolen eventually and think about how you will respond once that happens. Last week, I talked about an article by Misk that points out how many authenticator apps in Apple's App Store are, well, at least suspicious, if not outright malicious. No surprise, turns out the Google App Store suffers from the same problem, or I should say the Google uh, Play Store. Another uh, problem that was mentioned by Misk is that it's actually kind of hard uh, to recommend a good uh, second factor auth application because no matter what legitimate application you're searching for in these stores, you're likely going to see ads for some of the more shady and suspicious ones. My recommendation here is if you're already using any kind of password safe application, pretty much all of them now also allow you to manage the second factor. So that's probably a good bet if you don't already have something specific for managing your two factor authentication keys. And if you're using the open source security camera software Soneminder, uh, be aware there is a critical vulnerability was patched. This vulnerability does allow unauthenticated remote code execution. It's part of the snapshots uh, facility where it's uh, possible essentially to call the feature without having to authenticate that feature will then execute a command pretty much straightforward via shell exec and we got a new exploit this one is for a web logic vulnerability patched uh, last month by oracle cve 2023 21839 now exploitation 
back when the vulnerability was uh, patched by Oracle was considered relatively straightforward. So no big surprise here. The GitHub repository with the exploit is actually a little bit older, but uh, was just updated these last couple of days. So I believe the release of it, the public release appears to be a uh, pretty uh, new. Haven't tested myself yet. Uh, as usual, uh, be careful with exploit code like this. So I'm not 100% sure if it works or if it works, what it exactly does. Well, and this is it for today. Thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow.